I've always liked collecting, the flipping, the monetary side, the investment, the big numbers some of these cards were starting to go for. And I was like, yeah, I want to I get in on this. Nobody else will ever have this card. Now this is a better card right here. Let's check out one of my cards. This is a one of one there's no other one in the world. This is the big bad boy that holds it. I'm AJ Dillon, professional football player, professional card flipper. I started Dillon's deals and this is my hustle. I've always liked collecting. I've always liked that idea, but the flipping, the monetary side, the investment. When I just started to kind of see the big numbers some of these cards were starting to go for. And I was like, yeah, I want to, I want to get in on this. Another avenue, another stream of revenue. One of the first cards I sold was actually one of my cards. It was just really a fan. He uh, wanted a card by me, so I just signed it you know, to him. And in that, he gave me this downtown card from Panini. And then that's what kind of started me. And then I worked from that card and then I traded that and I got a box of cards. I took that box of cards, then I sold all the cards in that box. And then I got a case of cards and uh, you know, it keeps ever growing. Came up with the Instagram. I was like, what could be a fun, something cool. So Dylan's deal is super simple. You know, it's great. Got a great community there. And I do my live breaks under that name, anything card related. It's so surreal. I remember the first time I actually opened up a pack and my card was in it. I was like, that's pretty sick. Like that, that's cool. You know, I first started coming to card stores. It's actually, uh, my dad got me into it when I was a lot younger and it wasn't cards, it was comic books. I'm from Connecticut. And I'm not sure if it's still there, but in New London, Connecticut, there's this place called Sarge's Comics. I think that was my first kind of dive into the collector world. You need these. Make sure your cards are safe. Make sure they're in good condition. Make sure the people that are getting the cards don't give you bad reviews. If you get a really nice card, you put it in this bad boy. One touch, one card goes in here. If you put it in right away, it's guaranteed 10. Should be. Grab some sleeves, 99 cents. I feel like we're gonna pull some some fire cards today, so maybe a couple one touches. We've been breaking cards in the store here for years. I mean, we do have pack wars and you'd open a box and whoever got the best card, you know, would get both all the cards from both boxes. That's when cards were 30 bucks a box. I just think it's when someone pulls a card, you know, you sell them a box and they pull a card out and they're just like, like winning the lottery. You know, they, they got that card and, you know, they paid good money for it and, and then they have a hit. And if it's a true collector, they're not just going, going, okay, I just want that card to make money. They just pull the card that they really want to put in their collection. Favorite part, you come over here, see what cards of yourself you got, your teammates. There we go. We got an AJ Dillon collection here. So here we got uh, one of my rookie cards right here, number 125. Yeah, so this is a fire burst. The last one sold just one for 2050. No autograph, nothing like that. They're not numbered, so these are just kind of the common rookie card. But I mean, it's always cool to see, you know, where how much people are valuing my base cards. This one's graded. Uh, it was a perfect 10. It's up for sale right now on eBay, but it's so cool that you, you know, can just so quickly just kind of check everything that's going on in the hobby, what you're buying at a moment's notice with the eBay's price guide. All right, Mike. What are we doing? What are you looking for today? I'm gonna just do it. It's that immaculate, the green one. Okay, yeah, I haven't seen that cracked yeah. in the store yet. Yeah. I sold one to a guy. Way I'm on the table here. Yeah, we're just gonna go big. We're gonna go one and done. We're gonna do the immaculate. I think that's go it. With that? Yeah. All right. All right. Twenty-three oh five fifty-nine, please. Gonna crack it here. Take that one home. Break uh, it live. We're gonna break that one live. All right. Yeah. Got to. Cool. Thank you. All right, Mike. Good appreciate it. Great Thank day. You. Appreciate Thank you. everything. As always. Thanks for coming in. Thank you. Had so much fun at Card and Coin. Great time. Mike, everybody here, so helpful. It's time to open up this immaculate box. We get back home, show you guys my collection, and uh, let's hope we pull some bangers. Well, welcome to Dylan's Deals. Uh, we, got a, we got a break today. This is the box. The immaculate collection that we bought today at Card and Coin in Green Bay. I've never ever opened this box. I've never opened any part of this collection. All right, let's crack this open. Just cutting a little X. 
So right here, this whole big box is for these cards right inside here. So it's a six card box. These are actually um, thicker cards, if you can see. We got this case, this is a 180 point case for thicker versus this one is 75 for your average card. To start off, we got a Matt Ryan, 63 out of 75. Something that you look for in the card hobby, anytime you get a number match. So 75 out of 75 will actually sell more than 63 out of 75, even though there's still 75 because it's a number match. Now this is a better card right here. This is a pretty good card. Out of 10, we got an eight out of 10. This would be called a tri-patch. So it's three different patches, so a tri-patch and also four different colors. Jalen Waddle is going crazy. He's doing a really, really great job. His stock for his card is going up. There's only 10 other cards like this and they don't have these patches. This is the only patch like this. So you're thinking, you would imagine that this is a hard patch to beat. We'll, we'll go uh, make sure we use uh, eBay's price guide to see where the profit is in these. Right now, if I'm just looking at this overall, none of these people fall in my personal collection. This card I'm thinking might have some long-term value. As for the rest, I'm gonna sleeve them up, put them in properly sized top loaders, and then go on eBay, use a price guide, and look to flip. And with these, obviously you gotta use the authenticity guarantee because they won't be graded. Without doing any more research, I think you could definitely get this to somebody in the right hands, ungraded for anywhere from 450, 650 range. I think you get it graded and then you get it, you know, maybe maybe 650, 700. When I'm selling my ungraded cards, um, it's not just person to person or a side deal. I definitely lean on eBay for the authenticity guarantee. In this hobby, you wanna make sure that people are getting what they paid for, getting the value that they paid for. And with eBay, I can do that. One of my biggest deals, one of them was a really high number card of myself and the rest were kind of fillers, but it was about like uh, almost five digits on a couple cards. So that was really cool. And that that's, was my first big deal. I think something about me having so many hobbies, so many ideas, it allows me to kind of be the person I am without the helmet. The fact that I, I'm gonna have people who are fans of me for me when it all ends, that's what the real goal is. The biggest thing is to just know that no matter what you're going through, no matter you know the highs, the lows, when you're talking about card flipping, the, the big L's you take, the losses you take, you just gotta you just stay with it, stick with it, learn from your mistakes, bet on yourself. All right guys, I'm gonna take you guys in my personal collection, just some of the cards you know that are really valuable to me, monetary wise and just personal. So this is a compilation, it's a booklet, so it's supposed to fold together. And this is all the running back, or six of the running backs in my draft class, 2020. Probably nothing I'll ever sell, it's just cool to, you know, all, all six of our careers on one card. And this is a rookie sole. So what they do is they take a piece of a worn cleat and they stick it in there and this is a one of one There's no other one in the world. And this is the big bad boy that holds it. He is one of my one of ones and this is a laundry tag. So they actually make a one of one This is a laundry tag that is attached to your pants. I collect, seriously, I collect my one-on-one cards. I want all those, and regardless of if I become the best running back to ever play the game, or you know I don't play after next year, who knows, knows the future, but I'll always bet on myself. And you know, one day uh, I'm gonna show my kids, I'm like, this is the only card in the entire world, the, this card. There's nobody else has this. And that's just a sick feeling. And you know, at the end of the day, I can, rest my head easy knowing that I, I put it all in and put all the work in and, you know, believe in myself. Thank you guys for tuning in. AJ Dillon here. To watch more videos like this, make sure you like and subscribe. There's a lot coming out.